Hi kids, fish guy here, and I know you want to get to the fish, and that's coming in the next video, but today we wouldn't have any fish if we didn't have something for them to eat. We have to know what fish ha are eating. It will help us be better fishing people when we do go fishing, help us catch some fish, all right? And we need to know what's at the bottom of the food chain and what do fish eat, and I'm here to tell you right now, it's bugs. Bugs are at the bottom of the food chain for several reasons. One, they're full of protein. Two, if you leave them alone, they make lots of more little proteins. And three, they're bite size. Four, there's lots and lots of them. All right, so let's see how the fish, even during the cold of winter, like right now, are making a living at the bottom of the stream. I'll see you at the whiteboard in a minute. Okay, kids, here we are at the whiteboard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the three main bugs that hatch that the fish eat, okay? The first one is called the caddis fly. You've all seen these. They are little bugs that have like a tent wing like this. They're always folded on the water like this, okay? The fish love them. The second one is the mayfly. This is a caddis fly. This is a mayfly. The mayfly, always like the mayflower, the boat, always has great big sails like that. It's got a long body, has two tails that come out like this. It's a very elegant looking fly. They come out at all times of the year, okay? And the, and the nymphs are always uh, in the river. I will get into the nymphs in a minute. The last one is a stone fly. And that's a more complicated bug, it's kind of like three sections. Then it's got two little tails like this, okay? Got some legs that come out both sides like this. It's a kind of a big bug. We have these on Rock Creek. If you really want to see a phenomenon for bugs, go to Rock Creek the first week of June, and the salmon flies will be coming off. It's a great big stone fly, okay? They start in the water, they crawl out on the rocks. The fish love them. People come from all over the world to see that. It's really a, a phenomenon. All right, so how do these bugs live? Let's see what the bottom of the river looks like. Okay, here's the bank. All right, here's, let's see, here's the bottom of the river. All right, up here we have some seaweed. Over here, wouldn't be right if we didn't have a fish. Well, let's give them a partner. Oh, another bad looking fish right there. All right, so we got a couple of fish, and here's a bug, and here's a bug, and here's a bug, and here's a bug, and then right here is a lot of like a bug party, and then a couple of bugs here. Here's the surface. Here's the sun. Here's an osprey. Okay, now, you want to know about fly fishing? I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about fly fishing right now. Bugs start out as nymphs. They are the bugs that start, they start out as an egg, then they turn into a nymph and they live on the bottom. These are the bugs right here on the bottom. All right, now they're going to hatch. And what do they need to hatch? There's a couple of things they need in order to, uh, to go to the next stage. And that one is heat. We need heat. We want to know why are all the bugs on this rock and not these? Because this is too cold. It's getting warmer almost, uh, just right, and too hot. So you get the heat, okay? You have the heat, and then you also have, there's some rocks in the water right here and this causes white water. And what is white water made up of? Oxygen. So there's plenty of oxygen. The, the water comes around the, riff, uh, around the rocks, puts bubbles in the water. You will always find these bugs hatching right below the riffles, okay, where the water's real bumpy because that's where there's most, most of the oxygen. All right, the, the next step is that they turn into a wet fly. And that means they break out of their uh, cocoon, and then they're a little bug that shows just like this. And they're very, very fast. They're swimming in the water like crazy. They're, they're about as fast in the water as a fly flies around in, in your house, all right? So, you ever been down to the river and you see at the bottom of the, uh, you see the fish flashing? And you thought maybe they were itching themselves on the bottom or something like that. No, they're actually fishing. They're actually eating, okay? Nymphs will be on this rock from 4 to 7 o'clock. They will turn into wet flies at, say, about 7.30, okay? So now they're here, but the fish are eating them. 
They're going very, very fast, so the fish have to scoot right after them, and that's when you see them flashing. So the fish are already starting to eat, but you don't see any bugs yet. The next step is that they turn into an emerger, okay? An emerger is just about to emerge to come out of the water, but what happens? He gets stuck under the surface tension of the water. Surface tension is if you took a pin and you put it on a fork and you lowered it in a bowl of water, the pin would float. Well, that's just a pin to us, but think about it from a fish's point of view. It's a floating log made out of metal, and what's ever holding that up, this bug has to get through there. Okay, so now all of a sudden, this fish wants to eat this bug, but this osprey wants to eat this fish. So this fish comes up here, grabs this bug, and scoots right back down to the deep water so that the bug doesn't eat him, because this is gonna happen at about 7.45. Nobody wants to go to bed hungry, all right? So that fish comes up here, get, eats this bug, and goes right back down. So now you start to see the flashes here, and then you start to see the splashes here, but you don't see the fish because he just ran right back down there. But you know it's a fish, he's going to be eating that bug. The next thing is he's sitting right here on top of the water. If he's a mayfly, he's sitting there just like that. And this is what I call he's praying. He can't swim anymore, okay? And he doesn't have, uh, and his wings aren't dried out, so he's praying, oh, please don't eat me because if I just live for another five minutes, it'll be just great. All right, well, the fish don't care. They're eating you there too. All right, but after about five minutes, okay, the bug on the top of the water, this turns into a dry fly. This is now a sub-adult, all right? And that means that uh, when his wings dry out, they start to fly around. And this happens at about eight o'clock, okay? Everybody flies around, they're having a great time at about 10.30, they become adults. They fly around for a couple of hours, they all cut millions and millions of bugs fly around up here, and then everybody at 11, at 10.30, everybody goes to a great big party, they fall in love, and it's a great fun, except by 11 o'clock, all the boys are dead. Why are all the boys dead? They went to the party, they made sure that there's going to be more bugs for next year so that the cycle keeps going around, okay? <clears throat> Then the, and the females, and then all the males die, and the girls are going, oh, well, we get to live. Yeah, but only for one day. Because then you have to go into the trees, you, you make the eggs overnight, and then you come back the next day to lay them in the water. And so here you are. Okay, here's all your wings. You come down, you drop your abdomen in the water, you drop these eggs down here. Here's, let me show you the life cycle if you're a bug. You start out as an egg. You drop to the bottom, you get to live under the rocks for two or three years, all right? And then you get to run for your life, okay? Bang, you get a headache. That, uh, you're stuck under the surface tension of the water. Here you're praying for your life. Here you're loving life because there's a great big party, okay? And everybody has a good time. And, everybody, and then at 11 o'clock, the boys are dead. Females get to live one more day, drop the eggs. Eggs go down here, live under a rock for a few years, run for your life, bang, get a headache, okay? Pray for your life, go to the parte, and then you're dead. That's how it works. All of this falls back into the food chain, the fish, the frogs, the birds, everything around the uh, uh, creek and river eats off of these bugs, okay? A couple of things. You've probably seen these stonefly casings. They're always on rocks, they look like a, if you pick them up, there's no bug inside, okay? It has already hatched out and flown away, and these things you can uh, uh, look like little Rice Krispies, okay? These are the only ones you'll see out of the water. These will, be in, these will be in the water. They hatch in the water. So this is where our bugs come from. If we don't keep our rivers healthy and our water uh, in great shape, we don't get this, and we don't get the great fishing we have in Montana, okay? So this is where it starts on a small scale not on the big scale. Next time, we'll, we'll talk about uh, fish identification. Thanks, kids.